Well, it's another great day in Oshkosh. We're gonna go fly a widgeon. Power comes all the way up. And then later we're gonna go fly a caravan on Amphib Float. 8,000 pounds of Pick greatness. Flying pontoon boat. Oh, that's awesome. And right about here, there's the seaplane squat. But now it's ready to land on the water. A bunch of seaplane fun today. It should be a good time. Oshkosh departure information, Sierra 1653 Zulu weather, wind 3307, gusting 15, visibility 10. Yeah, so I, I do a lot of instruction in seaplanes, so I've got the, the Avion Husky on floats and a, a De Havilland Beaver on floats right. as well. Okay. So we do instruction in. That's, the Beaver's a nice, fine airplane. Everything that's, that's great about this airplane, the Beaver does. Everything that's bad about this airplane, the Beaver does not do. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, I see why so many people love them, you know. There's a reason why there's a thousand beavers still flying and there's 30 widgets. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite as much, as nice as like a throw over in a bonanza, but it, it works. It gives you know. a little more flexibility. So these are geared engines, okay? So they're a little bit different. We idle at about a 1200 instead of a thousand. Um, and the reason being is we're trying to avoid gearbox chatter. Okay. So um, they run a little bit faster. They scream on takeoff. They do about 3400 RPM on takeoff. Uh, the prop's not quite doing that fast, but a little bit of difference in technique and flying in that you're always worried about loading the props. You want positive torque on the, on the sure. prop. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like the carrots and the M2. Yeah, exactly. So we're very kind of cautious on how we work the power. We don't want to work it back and forth. Um, and these throttles tend to be a little, a little bit on the sensitive side. So um, that can be a little bit problematic. The other, other different thing about this is on our first power reduction, we're going to pull the props back first. Yeah. Welcome back, runway 36 left. Line up away, be ready to go. All right, gas on, make sure the rich gears down. Throttles, props are set, flaps are set, 10. They're both on. I don't have any tailwheel steering either, so everything's done with the power and brakes. Okay. I try to use power as much as I can, but... Number 7 will come back. Runway 36 left. Cleared for takeoff. This is the power's up, we try to fly the tail. Oh, one, three, six, five, yeah, tail's up. Right heading 150 prior to the air center control tower. Stay out of below 150. He's going to fly here. Up the airspace. Enjoy the show. Let the airspeed come up over and ground effect. So, gear's coming up. There we go. My air just landed. Number for seven one, come back. I do have a jet uh, over the numbers of runway 36 left. He's doing the overhead. He's in a right break now. Both tail jiggers, up to the pink shirts, please. There we go. Up to the pink shirt. All we'll do is we'll just kind of head out to that shoreline and work the way up. Oh, one too bad, actually. I, I, th I think they want us further to the south. Do they? Because they got these arrivals here. Two tail jiggers, are you going to play today? He has no radio. I think we're supposed to be at 1300 foot. They have no radio. Right, I think it, and I think it's a right turn one five zero. Is it? Yeah. Repositioning. Have you ever been over to the seaplane base in this? I have not. No. How uh, deep does this thing get? Uh, a taxi, I need about three feet. Okay. Um, I really don't like anything other than, you know, uh, 150 knots on a seaplane. You gotta be a certain amount of crazy to fly a seaplane. Yeah, there's a, uh, I mean, you know, they say like a, a boat's the worst investment you, you can make. They're right next to an airplane, and then you combine the two, and that's that's a seaplane for you. And I think now we're clear of everything. Yeah. So we can go wherever we want. Okay, see, so there's five ways to yeah. tell the wind direction on the water. You got your streaks right here, right. You got your waves. So the waves are kind of telling me they're out of the north here. We got a glassy band, but I don't see a glassy band. But it would be up on the north side, and that's where the wind actually is. Right. So just stay down low. There's no reason to get up high. Yeah. That's beautiful. You can fly the airplane if you like. Okay. My control. Definitely need to dance on the rotor pedals. Um, a lot happens with that. So you can almost walk the airplane around on it. You'll notice it's extremely responsive, and if you roll it real hard, you'll see how. You'll see the roll rate's quite impressive. But I've seen someone take up off the water, pick it up and roll it over and land back on the water. It's a uh, hell of an airplane. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we just scoot up that shoreline and then the waves aren't too bad. They're pretty big, some down here, but I think if we go up there, it'll be okay. Yeah. How much seaplane flying have you done? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. So. The water can tell you a lot. So you see right here, you see these white streaks? Yeah. That means we have eight plus knots of wind. Yeah. Okay. If we see some white caps, that means we have about 15 knots. So it's gusting into 15 probably. Um, if we, we want to land perpendicular to the waves and parallel to the streaks. Um, and five, four, well, the white three, cap also means we have a foot of wave. So yeah. um, that's a big wave and it gets uncomfortable with this. This thing can handle two feet, but at that point you're really wrestling it. And it's it's no wonder fun. Yeah. 
tell you what, that looks really nice over there. Let's do that. Um, so we have about a two and a half, three degree window that this airplane's happy in. Um, most float planes are like a 14 degree window, right? You get like plus eight, minus six or something like that before it'll start focusing on you. So that's where this thing gets its wrap. Is it's, it's, it really wants to be flown all right. Gotcha. Hey, we're gonna go, see the glassy band there right behind that island? Yeah. Let's go right there, right behind that island. Do you, you find that there's, it kind of porpoises differently if you're two nose low versus nose high, or you just have to really know that what that attitude looks like? Yeah, it's it's something that comes with experience, but yeah, the corrective action's always done the same way, right? You always stick back first. If that doesn't stop, a little stick forward. Uh, and normally in this time, in this airplane, it gets it gets good, bad so fast that if you've gone to that point, you're wiping the power off, stick all the way back in your lap, and you're riding the, the porpoise the rest of the way out. Gotcha. Okay, so I got flight controls. Your flight controls. All right. I come back to about 18 inches here, so let it slow up, as if we weren't going slow enough. Yeah. We're doing a woods check, so wind, we know where the wind is. Objects, okay, there's nothing really floating there. There's one boat that I'm worried about. There's a buoy right here. Uh, obstructions, we got that island. I don't want to go over land, we'll sail out over the water. Depth looks acceptable. And the size, plenty of size, so that's our woods check. Coming downwind now. So, it's a gumps check, right? Gumps, right? So gas right here, gas is on, undercarriage. It's a V here, so undercarriage is up, indicates up, we got pressure to hold it up. Additionally, this window's gonna lock in it, and that window's gonna lock in it, so gears up. Mixers come rich, they always stay rich. Props and flaps to go. Additionally, the next thing is the floats. So I've gotta turn the float master on, and put the floats down. You'll see they're coming. Pretty cool. Yeah, because they're a geared engine, we tend to, not want to put the props up until we're on a short final. 30 degrees of flats for normal landing. Okay, about 80 miles an hour, we'll roll our base. So the best way to do this, this is rough water, so we're gonna do a rough water landing. So we'll carry power all the way through the touchdown, just like a soft field. I keep the nose down in the ground effect, okay? We pick it up in the ground effect and I start loading the wing up, and we slow down the ground effect. And basically we walk the airplane out of the water, watching for the pitch attitude to come to. So we're pulling back, we're pulling back, we're pulling back, and right about here, there's the seaplane squat. But now it's ready to land on the water. So now I just walk it under the water with the power. Good. Power's off. Left to climb. That is the ball. It's got some waves out here. Yeah. <laughs> but that is the... Uh, is the water landing in a widget. Do you see how it kind of squatted on you and it gave you the pitch attitude you wanted? At that point, it's ready to touch down on the step. Yeah. Takeoff here is done 10 degrees of flaps. Okay. Props come all the way up. Stick all the way back. So I want to work the, the wind off the right wing so it's rolling us left. Wow, comes all the way up. Windshield clears, there's our, our on the step. So now it's kind of plain airplane. There's our pitch attitude that we want to stay in. If we get it out of this, it'll focus on us. Bring it back into the wind, and she'll fly. Oh, a little bit of a turn there. You think you can do that? I think so. All right. I'll put you here in the downwind. And what we'll do, that's a little bit on the rough side. So what we'll do is we'll just, uh, We'll just do this to a touch and go. Okay. Right that. All right, here's the down one. There you go. We got the flight controls. My flight controls. So, we start our gumps checklist. Gas is on. Undercarriage is up. Select it up. Indicates up. Pressure to hold it up. Got a dark window here and a lock. And the lock right there. Here is up. Okay. Make sure so they're right here. Full rich. Props and flaps. Floats are down. Okay. Go ahead and come back to about, uh, about say, 15 inches. Nice and slow. And then uh, we'll start working flaps up. Here you keep that nose there up. It's actually a pretty slick airplane, even though it's pretty ugly. Uh, we're going to have to pull the nose up and let it slow up a little bit and start hanging flaps out. So gotcha. There you go. go. Flaps. Basically straight to 30. There you go. There's 30. Go ahead and pull for about 80 or so. You can come back to about uh, 13 inches or so now. 
fishy those those throttles a little bit weird right. to get used to up over your head, but oh, yeah, for sure. I find them actually really comfy. I like them quite a bit. I want to come back just, just a little bit at left of the wind. Hey, there you go, there's 80. Keep that pointed down, let it come into ground effect. There you go, pull the nose up. Pull the left rudder. There you go, keep pulling that nose up. Pull that nose up, wait for the seaplane to squat. There you are, now push up the power up a little bit. There you are. Okay. All right, now on the go around, go ahead and push the power up, and you're gonna really up the pull back here. And all the way up. You run out of elevator on the go around with flaps 30, okay. so you're best off kind of just pushing the, uh, it, it felt pretty, pretty controllable there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, tell you what, let's take it to a full stop, shall we? Okay. Right. So, uh, in a second here, we'll put some flaps out. Oh, we got to push the nose, pull the nose up, and let it slow up. Hey, come back to you know 15 inches. There you go. You're below the flaps. Go ahead, put 30 flaps in. I right, come back to about 13 inches now. So one of the things we have to do is we have to pull the throttles all the way back. Okay, so once once we're touched and we're stable, right? So yeah. once we're, so we're not porpoise, and we'll pull the throttles all the way back. Okay, the flaps go all the way up, and then we pull the stick back in our lap. Yeah, there you go, right into the wind. Good. All right, now pull it up in the ground effect. Don't want to touch down this low. Uh, keep pulling back, keep pulling back. Stick. If you pull the stick back, it stays back, right? Yeah. So right about here, that's your sight picture. A little bit of power. Okay. And pull the power out or you yep, want to? good, pull the power out now. Now put the flaps up, all the way up. Yep. Cool. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty big water out here. So you sit, sit pretty low in this thing. Right, it's kind of cool. It's, I'm used to up on like pontoon floats. <laughs> yeah, you're way up there. And so do you have like water rudders or do you have... No, we're, we're left solely to the power of the, the mercy of the wind in our engines okay. here. Okay. This is a bit big water here. Yeah, this is... I think it's probably best we don't shut down. Not so much fun. This flies a lot nicer when you're in a calmer lake. Honestly, my favorite time is to fly in glassy. Yeah. So let's go, let's do, let's go ahead and take off. Okay. Okay. Uh, 10 okay. degrees of flaps go out. Props are all the way up. Okay, stick comes all the way back, either on a little left. Keeping it ground effect and fly it. He's probably one of the most challenging seaplanes to fly, if yeah. not the most challenging. It's so imperative to find that pitch attitude, hold it there. You kind of have to fight it to keep it in there. Right. And, you know, you see it, people go, oh, he's going to get into PIO, you know, and you can, but you got to kind of. Just keep it at that right trim attitude, or else it's going to get out. It's going to get real nasty with you. Right. Oh, that makes sense. And I've been there. It's not very fun. What is that? I think it's a 25. That's so nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Not every day you're flying around in the lake. Look up the 25. <laughs> I just love that about Oshkosh. You know, they're just kind of... Coast Guard Albatross coming up for Everyone doing what they want to do. Yeah. It's like somehow it just works, you know? Yeah. Sounds like we got a... Uh, Albatross and a albatross. Two different types of albatrosses headed towards Warbird Island. Oh. My T28 rolling out. Very nice job there. Thank you. High speed tactical all the way to the end. Grumman, go ahead and proceed on inbound, please. Grumman from the Warbird, proceed on in. Coming in. Grumman. Thank you. Very nice job on final there. Very nice job. And uh, Seth, you're doing a great job there. That looks perfect. Add raft at the yellow dot, please. And T28 still on the purple dot. Clear to land. Both of you on 3-6 left. There's a mallard. There's a mallard truck there. And once you uh, land, high speed taxi and uh, exit to the left. I think you read that back to you. Grass has yeah. rolled for you. Hey, which, uh, which crummy did you want coming on the widget or the albatross? The albatross. That's pretty cool. That is. Albatross plan on, plan on it. Call me a two mile uh, right base for three six left, please. All right. Thank you. As the widget ready to come in? Hey, you Okay, I'm going to put you on the right runway, the skinny runway. Is that okay? Yeah, how long is that? It's about 40 feet. 60 feet wide. Do you need the length? Oh, that's funny. 
All right, good deal. Yeah, plan on 3-6 right. Yeah, give me a two-mile right base call for 3-6 right, please. RV, you're cleared to land at or after the yellow dot, runway 3-6 left. All right, gas. Hunter gauges right, down, down, indicates down. Yeah, Pressure hold it down a wheel over there. Out the albatross. I'm going to pop on flat base, and I'll let you know. But right now, plan for the yellow dot. Point for the purple. Okay, plan the off. The yellow dot. Widget, you uh, aim towards the purple dot, and I'm sorry, aim towards the green dot. You're going to be clear to land on the skinny runway at or after the red square. So aim for the green square at or after the red square. Clear to land 3 6 right. I like those dog like in here. Proceed in, plan on the skinny runway. You'll be on the really like doing that, but. Call me at two mile right base. You want to be at the red square, so not towards the end there? Yeah. Widget, uh, land, clear to land at runway 3 6 right at or after the red square. 3 6 right. Right there for them. Thank you. Okay, flat set gears down. Make sure there's a red one on the left square. Cabinet, thank you. 3 6 right. Good land. Welcome, Oscar. Awful lot of airplanes out here. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, Cabinet, thank you. 3 6 right. Good land. Welcome, Oscar. Yeah, no kidding. There, all clear. Help. Charlie, fly to 2. You could land runway 3 6 left. Could land 3 6 left. I feel the wind here. Kind of feels like it's almost right off the nose, but, you know. Uh, 102 at 6, so you're behind the trolley flight, unable, need to join the right downwind again. Where are you at? Uh, just over the runway. Just over the, okay, yeah, I see you there. Turn left into the grass for me, please, left into the grass. I need you into the grass now. As soon as you get under control, left into the grass. Need you off the runway, please. Yeah. 102 at 6, over the field now. Break right, break right, on the overhead, break right, please, now run you, there you go, nice job, break right now, come on, get into the left side. Hey, you gotta be a certain amount of crazy to fly a seaplane. Yeah, there's a, I mean, you know, they say like a, a boat's the worst investment you, you can make. They're right next to an airplane, and then you combine the two, and that's, that's a seaplane for you. Right. We're gonna go fly a caravan on Amphib Float. Yeah, should be a good time.